Within the Irwin Data Intelligence Suite, under the category of Data Governance, we have the Business Glossary product, accompanied by an auto matching for connecting metadata with business glossaries, and a business user portal that allows users to explore freely all the things that we capture within the business glossary. The business glossary is a collection of catalogs and business assets. Each of these business assets can be added independently through our settings tab. If I go to miscellaneous settings business glossary, I can create new categories of business elements that could be tracked, associated, and managed here in any catalog format and any catalog form, meaning an end user experience is unlimited in terms of the things that they can catalog and inventory and then tie back to all the things around it, giving better context across the board for every end user, whether they're IT related or business related. Within these catalogs, we will pick and choose the types of collection we'll do. We can also do that for the term itself. Do we want to highlight sensitivity? Are there other things that we need to capture? Documentations and radio buttons, text box and notes. All of this is completely configurable here. And by adding new, we can add another category and enabling those categories will help them to appear within the actual data catalog. Now, in our business glossary product here, I have just a few catalogs to show the difference. There's many more categories that I could display. Here I'm showing what we've got uh, enabled. If I walk this over here, pull this back just a tiny bit, you can see I have a variety of different glossaries here. Now within each glossary, we're able to create relationships. For example, if I click on the CDRD reference glossary, I can see the term account has eight associations and there's also an affiliated mind map. Along the way, Flashing red dots will show the end user what they can see and expect by clicking on certain icons within the application. This can be enabled or disabled depending on how long I've been in the application. Taking that back just a step, when we talk about relationships and how those relationships are formed, there is an auto match feature here that leverages AI technology to match up tables and columns. Now, if I click on a particular column match, I can select a catalog. I've got a catalog pre-selected here under customer terms. The algorithm will find all the matching metadata, for example, for the term customer address. This is going to give me the most likely matches from left to right, customer name, customer ID. Now, we still want to have somebody with domain expertise make the actual selection and once they do, they can click on the associate button to make the actual association. Now the end result of those associations, when we go back into the business glossary, is what we'll find under the category of the mind map. As noted earlier, I'm gonna select on this reference glossary here, and we're gonna select this mind map under the term account. If I hover over, I'll see the definition of that. I can select the mind map itself here, and the mind map will show me the actual relationship that's happening. I can see from the epicenter of account, I have business rules, columns, business terms, and reports that are all interrelated. Now, as I expand that, or I can simply click expand all at the top right, it will show me how those relationships play out, both from a technical metadata standpoint, for the business rules, and also the reports. Further, I can drill in if I click this plus sign, and that's gonna take me out one step at a time further into all of the context around each of these terms and their association back to the originating term account. This is called our mind map, and it's really a way that we bring business semantics home and label that out in a way that makes it very easy for any business user to have the best and most context at their fingertips including where things are sensitive. You'll notice over here on the left-hand side, I have PII, and that is going to be highlighted with a lock that lets me know that there's a uh, sensitive data lock on this, and it's represented by fund ID. Now, if I don't have the proper security to access this particular attribute, my lineage view would stop just before that, 
and it would indicate that I'm no longer allowed to go further because there are sensitive data attributes at risk. When you take into account all the uh, features and functions of the business glossary, the end user experience being one that's smooth, easy to navigate and intuitive, along with the customization features of adding and changing and updating all the different categories of business assets, and the ability to tie those together with automation and artificial intelligence through our algorithms, it makes the experience fast, easy, and accurate. And this is the Data Intelligence Suite Business Glossary for Data Governance. After leaving the Business Glossary, an end user might need to access everything from within the Business User Portal. If I were somebody that was not working in the glossary, an end user in marketing, finance, data science, or some other realm of the organization, I may want to explore all the wonderful things that we capture within the Irwin Data Intelligence Suite. That can include metadata, access to projects and subject areas, data mappings, releases, business rules and policies, even our business glossary, all of our catalogs and data stewards and terms, and I can drill down and drill in to everything and anything that's created within the DI suite. For example, if I were to select sensitive data, that will take me into the sensitive data catalog that shows me the exact system name, table name, column name, the sensitive data indicator classification, and the description itself that helps me identify why it's sensitive and in what category it's sensitive. Further, if I want to go back to the dashboard and drill out from there, I can, or I can continue along this tree view, drilling into metadata to allow me to see all of the different systems that are cataloged. I can drill further into custom assets. Those are the things that we've added beyond terms, rules, and policies, things like tags, for example. Any of my data tags around data governance, HIPAA, PII, or any other classification I'll be able to drill into those and see exactly how they're defined and where those relationships exist. The business user portal is open access. There is end user authentication, and we can also customize the experience for the end user so that by role, they'll see the things that are most important to their role to get to the things they need faster and intuitively without much navigation. And this is the business user portal as part of the Data Intelligence Suite.